Yo, peoples, Kyushu 92 here, and welcome back to yet another iteration of Kyushu Views Anime. Onwards to the next episode of One Piece. So let's get it started! <laughs> On the last episode of One Piece, Kinemon and everyone else came face to face with someone we haven't seen since his backstory. Odin appears, the confused hearts of the Akazaya members. So, uh, there's a lot of explaining to do, but now, right brain tower inside the dome. Must be cutting to Shinobu and, yep, we're here with Shinobu and Yamamoto. Yama. Well, I was about to call it Yamamoto. Sorry, I got I had bleach on the brain late, uh, lately, so you had to forgive me. Still got all those Marys checking in on them. Y'all got company. <laughs> Ooh, ooh. Okay, Yamato. They seem to have put a lot of effort into that brief stint of animation for Yamato there when she was fighting. And Shinobu's not no slouch either. They really like knocking people into the roof, don't they? See, I feel like even though they're giving him all of these compliments and trying to make him feel better, this is still coming from an eight-year-old kid who's had... Uh-oh. Oh, this is the first time they see Momonosuke as a dragon. Well, this is Yamato's first, first time seeing him as a dragon. But with all these compliments they keep giving Momonosuke, he's still a kid. And there's so much that is just lorded over him. Imagine that kind of pressure. We're relying on you to run our entire country. Like, think about that for a second. Imagine telling an eight-year-old kid that we're relying, that people are relying on him to be, or relying on them to be the leader of an entire nation. And don't think I overlooked that flashback of how uh, Momonosuke ate that uh, failed devil fruit from Vegapunk. But just imagine how Momonosuke must feel in his position. And now we got CP0. Oh, we found out how it was made. Thus, we understand how Momonosuke has dragon powers. Because... The artificial devil fruit that was created by Vegapunk was made using Kaido's own lineage factor, or bloodline limits if you go by this anime. This dude's saying he's glad it really is a failure, but is it really? And now we're back here with the, uh, with the Akazaya 9, and we're dealing with, apparently, Odin in front of them right now. But that just leaves so many questions. Treasure Repository! There's so many questions right now. Why is Odin standing in front of them? When we see what happened to Odin in his backstory, why are we seeing him in front of them? See? It's even recount- It's even shown us what happened in the past. Remember, that was 20 years ago. Ah, uh, the camaraderie of the Akazaya 9 in the past. Every single one of them. Happy to see him again. Every single one of them. With tears in their eyes. Look at this triumphant speech that Odin is giving. How did you know that Toki died, Odin? See? Ashura is the only one with some sense. Remember how I said that they were bawling their eyes out? Crying their eyes out? Crying their eyes out and everything? Mm -mm. You're blinded by sentimentality. You're blinded by your memories. See? It's not him. See? Memories of the past. They blinded you to the present. Who's posing? I'll give you one guess. I'll give you one guess who this person is. Who else could it be to perfectly act like Odin than the perfect actor? See? 
Conjuro's still alive. This is the reason why you need to be a believer in the double tap. If they are down, make sure they stay down. That's how half of anime characters die. See? You allow sentimentality to get in the way of getting doing what needs to be done, and now people getting stabbed in the chest. The fact that they got Odin's voice actor laughing as Kanjido is a double is like a double stab in the chest right now. Because Odin's voice actor is phenomenal, but they got him laughing like Kanjido now. It's like, don't do that. Don't do that. Wait, how is Momonosuke able to tell the state that Luffy's in? No, seriously, how are you able to how are you able to tell? Luffy's in good spirits! Skew Luffy flying into a wall. Good spirits. <laughs> and we just got the Yonkos just playing with their food right now, like <laughs> worst generation. <laughs> Look at him! This they're just toying with them right now. Ooh! Woo! That's an image. No matter how many times Kaido keeps knocking him around, Luffy keeps getting back up. That's that Willa D in your boy. That's that fighting spirit. Ooh, that laugh from Luffy at the end. <laughs> oh, your boy's getting fired up. On the next episode of One Piece, the worst generation gets wiped out. The Emperor's deadly attack. Oh, oh, I know what's coming. Oh, I know what's coming. Oh, I've been waiting for this to get animated. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, yet another entertaining episode of One Piece. We got to see the Akazaya 9 deal with the fact that it's not actually Odin because was anyone really surprised? But it wasn't Odin. It was Kanjiro making another one of his perfect paintings again. And it was revealed too late that it was actually Odin before someone got stabbed and it was Ashida Doji. Then we got a uh, Momonosuke kind of second guessing himself. Despite all the comments that uh, people are telling him about himself, he's second guessing himself. And I, like I said, just think about this sort of information. We're all doing this raid so you can become Shogun. Not many of us may return or it could be a one way trip, but we need to do this in order for you to succeed where your father, uh, to succeed your father. Imagine all that. The future of your country rides on this surprise raid on one of the most powerful pirates in the world. One of the most powerful people in the world. And everyone is expecting you to take over for them. And they're putting so many aspirations onto you. Imagine how that feels to an eight-year-old child. Then we got the worst generation that's currently dealing with the Yonko right now. And Luffy constantly gets bodied, but they're still, they're still not all down. But the Yonkos, they're just basically toying with them at this moment. But the next episode... I feel we are going to be having some good eating because that the if that preview is anything to go by the what the Yonkos are about to do. Oh, I've been waiting. I've been waiting for that moment to get animated for a very long time. <laughs> but overall, I enjoyed the episode. I uh, it was I felt like, I'm going to be honest, I didn't feel like the pacing carried on for too long because you would think that they would carry on too long for the whole Odin was an imposter angle for way too long. But I'm glad that it resolved it in this one singular episode instead of them trying to travel with Odin or them trying to pad off for time and then they find out later. I'm glad they already brought that to a relatively quick close, so I'm grateful for that. Overall, I thought it was pretty good, but I'm really looking forward to next week's episode. But that's all I got. You guys let me know what you thought of this episode. And all I can say at the end of the day is, hope you all enjoyed. Can't wait to see you all in my next video. And if you're new to the channel and you enjoyed what you saw here today, then like, subscribe, and maybe even consider becoming a member because I am always looking forward to entertaining you so have a fantastic day once again as always later peoples